You see there the finance minister uh, with, it looks like a laptop bag. Earlier it used to be a briefcase, then it became a bahi khata. Is there an iPad over there? We'll find out soon with a laptop there. Uh, you've got Pankaj Chaudhary, the minister of finance. Then you've got Bhagwat uh, Kishan Rao Karag, the second minister of state for finance. And the interesting thing is the level of continuity in the team. You see there TV Somanathan, the finance secretary, Sanjay Malhotra, the revenue secretary, Ajay Seth, the secretary in the Department of Economic Affairs, Tuhin Kanta Pandey, uh, secretary in the Department of Investment and Public Asset Management, Vivek Joshi, secretary in the Department of Financial Services, and Anand Nageshwaran, the chief economic advisor. A lot of continuity. They like Siddharth to give their team a long rope and a long rein. Well, the budget makers, as we call them, have a, a long uh, sort of rein, and this is one of the good things. Finance ministry bureaucrats do not have fixed terms, unlike certain uh, uh, other ministries, and Mr. Garg perhaps has a view on that. But yes, it is for sure that the uh, interim budget uh, is being presented by a team that's been there and has Is that been... an iPad, like a laptop? No, this has been happening for some years now, ever since the paperless budget drive. Uh, but uh, but you, are, you are right, uh, what is inside will only perhaps be known after well, One of the security guards wanted to bring the umbrella up. Uh, <laughs> the finance minister said, nah, nah, I don't need it, you know, don't spoil my style here. I'm good, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, Dr. Gar, you are taking us through the key expectations viewers should have when they're looking at the budget papers uh, being presented yes. in Parliament. So I was saying growth, driving growth is one of the uh, key objective. The other one is, which is very important in the context of India, is how do you re redistribute, how do you take care of the poor, uh, the downtrodden, marginal uh, people and all. So these are the two key objectives. Of course, the third one is government is meant to deliver public goods and services. So how do you spend on the public goods and services? So these are the three main things. But you does that change, Mr. Uh, Garg, because you're in an election year? Because you're in an election year, in four weeks' time, we expect the uh, elections uh, of 2024 to be announced. Does that weigh on a finance minister? Does it, in a way, al almost become also liberating? That you know all you need to do is present your report card? and maybe make one or two announcements. You don't have to get into major budget-making exercise. Am I correct? That's correct. So you are in the interim budget just before the elections. Uh, by the way, all these three priorities are always there. The emphasis changes. The emphasis in the interim budget is more on the redistribution, giveaways, and, uh, and the kind of thing. But Remember, um, one of the key uh, growth-inducing element in the uh, strategy for the last three years has been the capital expenditure, which is growth-supporting. And therefore, in this budget, the two key kind of invest, um, announcements which I am uh, looking for is that how much the capex goes up and how much is brought in the form of what now is being termed as the Modi guarantees which is basically the redistribution, give more cash to the people, give more support to the people, 